Thanks, Andy, and uh, pleasure to be here. I'll keep it brief so we really have uh, time for the discussion that I look forward to. Uh, ABB, I think in any case, most of you are familiar with us. We're focused on power and automation. We're a 40 billion company serving the utility industry as well as uh, transport and infrastructure sectors. And almost half of that is industry. So the discussions we're having here are very, very relevant also for how we're in the process of shaping our own future. Um, my own roots are in technology, so I'm even more excited about it because this is a great time in automation. Uh, because if you look at it, even in, a, in the 125 year history of the company, this is really only the third industrial revolution that we actively participate in. I mean, we've been founded in the time of the second industrial revolution. We've seen the third, we've contributed to the third, and today, uh, the time of the Internet of Things, Services, and People uh, is really a transformation that we, we already heard about uh, from the uh, colleagues from, from Exxon and, and Georgia Pacific that is uh, certainly changing a lot of the paradigms in our industry. I would like to uh, talk about the Internet of Things, Services, and People and why we at ABB are not happy with just saying, okay, the IoT, the Internet of Things, or the Industrial Internet of Things. Yes, uh, we are actually a maker of products. We, we produce uh, actually more than a million products per day at ABB, and an increasing share of them are connected, and increasingly uh, a high portion of them are connected through open standards. We've been a pioneer of, of global open standards because that's actually something that is good for global companies, also serving multiple sectors. Um, and of course, uh, so the things, the Internet of Things, everybody agrees on. The services, I think it's important to recognize that there's the services between the things, so thing to thing services, thing to people services, and, and as well as people to people services that play a role. But I think the, the people dimension is the one that is often neglected in the discussion. And I would really like to emphasize that in my brief statement here because that's the one piece of the equation that doesn't scale with Moore's law. You, you really benefit from technology progress on the things, on the services, the communication infrastructure. But if you look at the people side, I, it's, it's really important to balance this triangle between the things, the services, and the people. If you look at our innovation space, we're spending about uh, $1.5 billion every year on R&D, both our own folks as well as collaboration. Collaboration with customers, collaboration with suppliers, collaboration with leading universities. And we really see the people side as very important. I think a, one product we've launched about uh, a year and a half ago exemplifies that very much. We have a uh, dual collaborative, uh, dual arm collaborative robot that actually works with people and overcomes the, the traditional boundaries, changed the paradigm in, in the robotics industry, basically, by moving robots out of the cage that you normally had to treat a robot like a wild animal, uh, because robots and people had to be separated by fences because robots are presumably dangerous. We've built the, the world's first robot that actually works with people in a collaborative manner. Um, and I think the people dimension is really important here. That's also why uh, we've made an acquisition in, in two steps of a company called CGM that many of you are familiar with for the intelligent ergonomics for the 24-7 environment so that actually the people dealing with the things and the services, they are alert, healthy, able to make the best possible decisions in the space. So uh, in addition to all the good things that have already been said, I'd like to highlight the people dimension and how we have to get people also ready to actually, with this accelerating pace of technology progress, uh, come along with it so that we make a tr successful transformation. That's already it from my side. I look forward to the discussion. Thank you.